How to clean a refrigerator. Don't wait until you need a hazmat suit to approach those mystery leftovers hiding in the back of the fridge. You will need a bucket, a half gallon of water, a half a cup of white vinegar, two scrubbing sponges, some water, and two soft cloths. Optional, a mild detergent like liquid dish soap, a small bowl of aquarium gravel or a box of baking powder, and a portable cooler. Step one, fill a bucket with half a gallon of warm water and add half a cup of white vinegar. If you prefer, you can substitute a few squirts of liquid dish detergent for the vinegar. Step two, unplug your refrigerator or turn the temperature control knob to the off setting. Step three, remove everything edible. Throw out anything expired or spoiled. Store perishable foods like eggs and meat in a portable cooler while you clean. Step four, remove the shelves, bins, and any other detachable items. If you have a drip pan, remove and drain it. Set those pieces aside. Step five, dampen your sponge in the cleaning solution and wipe the inside of the refrigerator from the top down, starting with the ceiling. Step six, wet a sponge with water and rinse everything. Then dry the areas you have just cleaned with a soft, clean cloth. Step seven, using the same cleaning solution, wash the shelves, bins, and drip pan. Dry everything. Mold is the source of most refrigerator odors. Make sure you scrub every nook and cranny so it doesn't have a chance to grow. Step eight, wipe off any sticky food containers with a damp sponge. Dry them. Step nine, wipe down and then dry the gasket, which is the rubbery band around the door that seals the cold inside. Step 10, replace the shelves, bins, and any other refrigerator parts you removed. Step 11, return your edible items to their proper spots inside your now sparkling fridge. To absorb odors, place a small bowl of baking powder or aquarium gravel inside. Step 12, Use a warm, soapy sponge to wash the outside of the refrigerator. Rinse if needed and wipe it dry with a clean cloth. Step 13. Plug the refrigerator back in or turn the temperature knob back to its original setting. You're done. If you have the energy, go food shopping. You already know what you have, so it's a great time to restock. Did you know? Meat and other perishables chill faster in smaller packages, and foods that chill quickly are less likely to spoil. Thank you.